the liars of America think they have rights to mock a homeless person. They don't really know their life story. They don't really care, but they think that for God's glory, they're going to think about buyer beware. What that means is that they overhear a man talking or working through a scene that that man is mentally unstable, and that's not true. But if you're aware and if you understand, then maybe you are not able. Does that make sense to you? Does what I'm saying make sense to you? That someone is actually sexually assaulting a man, pretending that he is not. Someone is actually cutting a priest's beard off and pretending they're not creating a religious hate crime. That someone is actually a black person trying to sell a white person as if they're a slave and they're pretending not to be a slave owner. You see, the lies that we tell ourselves are the lies that we sell to ourselves. At least that's what a pastor might say. But a lying pastor thinks he has the right to your loin, your body, and as well as your soul. And my guess is he didn't ask your permission in any way. A rapist is always a rapist. A sexual predator is always that predator. A monster of Satan remains a monster. And a liar of Bathsheba is the one who doesn't agree with someone else's life but doesn't care still wants to harm them still wants to abuse them still wants to physically assault them and still wants to use them in america we have rights but there's a handful of people across every color of god's spectrum of diversity that think that other people around them have no rights in america we have rights and those civil rights are being impeded at the polls they're being impeded in terms of our privacy. They're being impede, impeded in terms of our technology. They're being prevented in terms of our medical space and the quality of care we receive. They are being impeded by the fact that people like me, who are private citizens, yet sometimes a public figure on YouTube or other places of social media where we do our work, we do our business, and we share our intellectual property or our copywritten word, don't have any rights. The liar in you remains the liar in you, thinking you have the right to play in someone's home, under their sheltered tarp, within the tent they construct, without ever asking for profitable, probable, excuse me, profitable, not at all, but proper, lawful consent. In America we have rights, and yet you think that you have the right to me, but I don't have the right to know who you are because you're doing this at night. Or you're drugging someone, you're taking them against their will to do something to them, like shaving their manly hair, ruining their beard, or describing them all around the city as a marvelous liar. Who the hell are you, and when the fuck did you have the right to take someone out of their clothes to look them over? The liar in a jail did that once to me. She was immoral, she was illegal, and she was a dyke bitch fat-ass lesbian who deserves to die in the yard for her perversion of a man's rights. She pervertedly thought she had the right to inspect the man because she didn't do her job correctly. She didn't tell the man to check his pockets thoroughly. She didn't tell the man that they were looking for something metal. She didn't tell the man what he could and couldn't carry with him in terms of his faith practices. And openly, all she found was a faith bobble. The liar in her was that she feels she is more sophisticated as a man and as that lesbian that she is than a man who's been standing in front of her saying, stay the fuck away from me, you faggot girl. Now, if I say those things, what does that make me sound like? Does it make me sound like a racist? Does it make me sound like a sexist? Does it make me sound like a homophobe? Or does it make me sound like a man who's experienced these fucking dyke bitches who never stop? We say stop as men and they never stop their mouth. They never stop their attitudes. They never stop their attack. They never stop. But if a woman says, stop raping me, then a man's supposed to listen to that. But when a man rapes a man, when does the man get to say, stop? In America, we have rights, and yet men are raping women of their rights all across our political scheme. It's why many of the female operatives in the federal government and in the political realm are saying, that is obscene. That it's obscene to try to pretend to be someone as a stranger to someone who you aren't anything to. But God forbid a man like me have a small package and you want to fuck me out of it. As if I have no rights to do what I do. The liar in you thinks you're above God's laws. 
God's love says a man's loins belong to him and only the woman he loves. In your idea, your wife's loins belong to you plus everybody else's. Well, your husband's belong to you, but so does other men's. The lie in you is that you are a vain, violent, vandalous woman. You're a viper or you're a vixen, and you don't like those titles. Or maybe you're just a dickless dyke who's jealous of men.